Yeah, so, so welcome to Vasily's Garden. I just picked up on the wind here, folks. Uh, the rain's coming in. Now, today's topic, we had a few emails come through, people asking after I spoke with Craig the other day about the plant family groups. Now, what do we mean by that? So mixing up at least four family, plant family groups together into one bed, what that does, it explodes the microbial count, the colony of microbes that includes all the good bacteria and fungi, which take care of those plants. It basically means that each plant has a different nutrient release or an uptake that it requires. And by having a combination of four plant families in the one bed, you get a bigger population and more diverse microbial count in the soil. And what does that mean? It means a higher nutritional dense food that you get out of it, better plant growth, healthier plant growth, and at the end of the day, it's all done chemically free. So what are those plant family groups? Well, wish me luck because I struggle with these ones. Now you've got the Lamiaceae family, which include your herbal plants like your rosemary, oregano, basil, and we all love those in our garden. And it's important to have those in the garden bed all the time, especially the perennial types, the ones that live there year after year. Then you've got Asteraceae family, which are your leafy greens like your lettuce, and we all love lettuce. So put those two together. Now coming into springtime, we have the Solanaceae family. Now that includes tomatoes, eggplants, and capsicums and others alike. But those three so far are three common varieties that we love to have in our garden. Now the list goes on. Brassicaceae family, so they're your brassicas. So that's the fourth one that you can put into there. Have a look at this one here. This is a carrot, but it's also part of the Ambiliferae family. So we've got caraway, carrot, fennel, dill, and things like that, parsnip. So that's another family that you're gonna consider in your garden. And then we have Liliaceae family, which includes the garlic, chives, and others alike. Now these little poor critters are on their own. There's no four family groups in here. That's LA. So next time you're planning out your garden bed, folks, consider grouping at least four plant families together, variety of plants, so your microbes can have a humongous party down there below, and your plants will benefit from it. If you can't remember the plant varieties or the plant families, don't worry, because I'll put a description in this video so that you can refer to and help yourself planting out the garden. And thank you, Craig Castry, for putting me onto it, because there's so much to learn out there, and we're learning every day. Check out our website, vasilisgarden.com. Great specials every day for you to enjoy and all natural. No chemicals here from Eva Silly, Marisi.